Hey everybody! Welcome to the next vlog! I'm not sure what to call it. Um, I'm going to be going back and appending the second half of a draft onto my first draft. So this is like draft one and a half. So like I thought it was done. Like I, I did my climax and then I did a wrap up but it was only ten and a half thousand words. So I am now going to go back and in between my climax and my, like my climax is now my midpoint turn. And then um, I'm going to sh take my summation and shove that way to the end and fill in a second half. So uh, Barrett, Barrett Laurie, he read my first draft and absolutely loved it, which was amazing. So that was so nice. Um, had a suggestion for another chapter I could add, which is really cool. And then um, I was talking to Glory and Charlie and people backstage um, yesterday on Monday, and I was lamenting over the shortness of my story. And they were like, what if? Miss Sundu isn't the end-all be-all villain of this saga, this story. So um, it sparked an idea of something that I could definitely work with. So yes, I am so excited. So I have an idea for what to build up to in the second half now. And I just need to come up with a explosive ending that is even more terrifying than my midpoint was with the confrontation with Miss Sundu in the basement, which was my short story. So my short story, which was going to be the climax, is now in the middle and not the end all be all. So this is going to be intense for a middle grade, but I think they can handle it. Um, there's definitely little bits of humor uh, all in there, and I keep having my micro and my major cliffhangers to keep people reading along. And right now it's only like an hour and a half read, so yeah. Um, I'm excited. So this week is going to be great. I am going to be brainstorming a little outline for draft 1.5, and then... Um, going in and starting drafting again, so I am really excited. The spoopiness has begun. <laughs> Bless you, sir. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Holy mackerel. Okay, so I am on Chandra's stream right now, and I am brainstorming. I took a shower, to, not a shower, I took a bath tonight, and I soaked my hair and conditioner. But um, draft 1.5 is expanding rapidly. I love it. So I have the first half the way it is, um, which is everything that I drafted, so the first 12 chapters. I kept taking off the end of chapter 12 and saving that for the very end to set up the next book. So now I have so much more to go on so it's like oh my gosh this may end up being a 30k book i don't even know i'm so excited um we've got like maybe we might have some sleepwalking we might have some spores we're definitely having some children almost eaten um we are gonna have some infection going on like, ooh, ooh, I'm so excited. I don't want to give it all away. But, yes, we have the true source of the evil and gotta figure out how Jimmy, my main character, and his posse of friends can save his sister once and for all. So, I'm so excited and yeah, I gotta keep brainstorming. All right, so tonight's going pretty well. Um, I got like two pages worth of notes. 
I have um, been putting my brainstorming into a list of order of events that I will then put into an outline. So I am making great progress and I'm really excited. Maybe it will leave me 25, <laughs> but um, it's definitely gonna be longer than the 10 and a half. So hurrah. Halloween, pumpkin, more and more bats amongst my monster wall. And up here with me and the actors and my haunted stretching room portraits. And of course, my little hanging paper die cuts. Woo! All right, so I am on Charlie's stream because it's still Wednesday. And I have been going through and listing the different things that are happening in order of occurrence so that I can figure out my ultimate climax for this book one. And I realized I don't remember how that Goosebumps one with the plant parents ends. And I don't want to do the same ending they do. So I need to figure out what he did so I don't do it. <laughs> so I went on the YouTubes and the episode is on there. So that's what I'm doing tonight. I am conquering my fear of that Goosebumps episode that traumatized me for life. Don't go in the basement. So yes, here we go. All right, so I have finished watching the Goosebumps episode and there are some similarities between uh, my story and that story, but I think that's par for the course with plants being the subject matter. So that episode ends with Weed Killer. So I need to do something different, which is good because I had something different in mind. So um, I just wanted to make sure that our endings weren't the same. So yeah, that's exciting. And I wasn't traumatized this time, but I did see why I was last time. It was pretty intense. <laughs> um, so, yes, it is time to go to sleep, and I'll see you all later. Bye! The weekend is upon us! So I have signed off of work. Ow. Yes, Roy. It is Ow. Friday the 24th, Ow. and Roy really wanted the popcorn I was eating got one piece because it fell on the floor. But yes, um, I need to continue brainstorming and ordering ordering my my events and start uh, doing a second outline. So yay, let's do this. Okay, so I may have got sucked into a fan fiction yesterday. I'm on like chapter 73 now, <laughs> but uh, today is Saturday, the 25th, and I figured out the climax of this book, the true climax, and I have 20 bullet points of the rest of the book. So it's not going to be 20 chapters, because at least six of these bullet points are the final chapter. Um, and I have figured out how to end this book differently than the Arl Stein Stay Out of the Basement book, so it's not going to be Weed Killer, because it's already been done. So, I am excited. Going to start drafting draft one and a half, so picking up where I left off, and I found one thing that I need to foreshadow in the first half more, um, so it should be really easy. It should just be like two sentences, so, yeah! This is going to be epic. Alright, so it is now after 9 and I am on chapter 14 of my draft one and a half, as I'm calling it. It's basically just a continuation of draft one. Coffee Quills uh, edited chapters 8 and 9, so I need to go through and incorporate those edits. So good times, good times, but I think I'm calling it for the night and Where'd he go? There he is. He was sleeping on my foot while I was typing and it was so cute and so warm and fuzzy and I loved it. So that's it for Saturday. 
and I'll see you all tomorrow. Good evening. It is October 27th. What a time jump. And I now have purple hair. So, hello Roy. Hello. So, update. Work be crazy. Um, it was until today. So, um, I have been working massive overtime, have not had a weekend off in over a month. So, writing crawled to a halt and I finally got back into it a little bit with the World Ride write Writeathon this past weekend and I edited the first 13 chapters again and I wrote chapter 14. So it took a while. I forgot I had even made this, but I found my notes in my middle grade horror notebook. So hooray, hooray. And I have all of my notes for the ending. So hurrah. So tonight I hope to jump back into writing and get drafting. NaNoWriMo starts in like four days, so four or five days on Monday. So this is going to be intense. I want to finish this book before NaNo starts so I can start drafting while well, figuring out the sequel and then drafting the sequel in November. My goal in November is to draft Cracks of Fear, so probably 20k hopefully 25k. We'll see. But yeah, that is what I'm up to. It's time to get some words. Alright, I've cleared off a corner <laughs> of the desk so that I can actually show my desk and my typing. And it's time to light my Hocus Pocus candle. I did that on the final sprint of Charlie's live stream, and then we talked backstage for a while. <laughs> but yeah, good productive day. I worked, I cleared some table, I took out the trash, Roy is so cute, and I got some writing done. And I journaled, and I set up November in my journal. So. Come to me! I have next week and I have November, the sticker that came with the deck. And then I set up some stuff. So, yeah. That was my day. See you guys hopefully tomorrow. So I thought I'd change the angle a little bit. Um, my bookcases, the top couple of shelves, um, up above you have a ton of candles and unused journals. But yes. Um, oh, so today is Thursday and I procrastinated writing by doing a couple more timers because timers are easy <laughs> and so fast. So I did a couple more of those. 
they're really pretty. And then I took a couple of naps today while I was waiting on stuff for work. So yeah, very easy going day, so nice. I feel like I'm recuperating from the massive overtime a little bit already, even though I'm still on hold. So I am waiting in the wings for if fire pops up to put it out because this movie is due tomorrow. So, so far the last two days, there's been nothing for me to do because my stuff has already been passed off to the compositors, which is nice. But I should get to writing. Um, I have done a bullet journal as I showed you already, but one of my goals on there is to finish Seeds of Doubt in November, but I wanted it to be done before November, so yeah, I gotta figure out what my priorities are, whether it's sleep or getting my house in order because it's been so long, or actually writing, so I need to figure that out for the next couple of days. Because Nano doesn't start until Monday, so I still have like three days left. So, um, need to do some soul searching and some more journaling. <laughs> Tomorrow I'm going to do cleaning up this apartment because I have all nano to write and these middle grades are only 20k so it should be 25 but for these drafts they're only about 20k so um I need to yes right I need to get my house in order. It's been neglected for far too long. So my goal tomorrow is to work and while I'm working start doing laundry. And since I'm in a holding pattern for work, I can do the dishes while I wait um, on the laundry cycles. And then I need to sweep and mop my living room, and I may even take out my recycling, my cardboard, because it's been piling up. So that is the plan, and it's only 8.30, so I still have time tonight, so may actually get a jump start on these dishes. So what a concept. Being accountable to a vlog makes you get stuff done. Who the thunk? So this is Roy. <coughs> yes. And the mess that is the living room. So destroyed cardboard and stuff everywhere from somebody. So my kitchen is a disaster. I can't believe I'm showing you. Yes, there's stuff in the sink, and it's just everywhere. Those are all my teas on top of the fridge. I have a problem. But yes, I want to get this. These are burnt out candles. And like puppy winter shoes and stuff. So I want to get this cleaned off. <laughs> Can't even see the picture. Those are all my masks. So I want to get this cleaned off tonight. So I have room for dishes to dry, so let's do it. Is this the last time I can see you in a while? Is it the truth that you'll be living tonight? We should take a walk then a swim. 
That will mean everything, yeah, everything to me Can we get out of this one? Waiting and missing I never thought you would leave me here We can get out of this one A little butter A ton of All those meds feelings. And uh, just like tuna salad through everything I things now. I should probably put those away too but yeah, getting there. Still have all of that to do. This is in no way funny. We will find a way. We back together. But right now, there's stormy weather. I see a tear begins to fall. Ignore the same thing. But yes, some progress. Halloween. I have nowhere to put that apple. Just living in my gosh. 29th and ah, Look at that! Ah. So, accountability time. Today, I worked on the kitchen. I did some more dishes. And cleaned out a little bit of the fridge. I swept some. Uh, not all of it, but some of it and took a giant nap, so yeah. But Charlie Dorset's live stream starts in an hour and the uh, StreamYard link has gone out so I could join the pre-party. And tonight, I hope to draft some more of Seed to Doubt. Oh, and I made a YouTube video. Um, I filmed, edited, and uploaded my uh, rethought out goals for Nano, so that's good. And I'm just... Did I take my meds today? I don't think so. Dang it! Okay. Yeah. I made a tracker for that for next month. <laughs> so, uh, hopefully I'll be more on top of it. But yeah. So, tonight I hope to get a lot of writing done, so... Let's hop to it. So it's the first sprint. It's still the 29th, which means Halloween is two days, and I still haven't carved my pumpkin, which is right there on this table. So maybe I should do that tonight. Do something a little festive, because I haven't even watched much Halloween stuff this year. So I think I need to carve it where Roy can't help. So, um. <laughs> Yeah, you're not going near the knives and pumpkin guts. Sorry, dude. So I think I'm going to attempt that in the next sprint. So I need to sweep out the puppy room because I have the door that can close off and it doesn't have a rug. So I can carve in there. There's no light in there. And the sun is setting. <laughs> so I should do it soon. But yeah. I think I'm gonna carve and do something exciting tonight. Hooray!
A super basic, but he's mine. I now have a jack o' lantern. This is my 2021 pumpkin. A little off kilter, a little wonky. Yeah. So I moved my light to make room for the pumpkin over there, but I think I should move the light closer. But yeah, that is what I had done for my Halloween festivities for the day. Not much, but. <laughs> I'm so ready for the year to be over. <laughs> yeah. Um, time to get to writing. Good afternoon! It's October 30th and I'm doing basically co-writing with Chandra, C. Chan Wright, and um, so we're just live chatting on Discord, video chatting, whatever it's called. Um, so I'm doing sprints of dishes and writing and so I just got another load of dishes done and it's time to dive into writing. Dishes are coming along nicely. I'm on chapter 16. I broke 15k. So, yes, this day is going great. Hallelujah. Yes, Roy. Oh, big stretch. All on me. Nick. You're so cute. So, yes, um, I'll keep you posted for how the day ends. Alright, so I'm finishing out the day. I finished chapter 15, I wrote chapter 16, so I'm now on chapter 17, and I'm at 15,726 words, so pretty good. Yeah. I did a bunch of dishes, I think I have one load left, took out the cardboard, and it is time to relax. So very productive day, very happy about it. and. Gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for the next hour and a half before I go to sleep. So probably just watch some author tube. Um, tomorrow's Halloween though, so we'll see. Alright, it's after. 
after midnight, so happy Halloween! I played Left 4 Dead 2 with my two sisters and brother-in-law, so that was really fun. And it is time for bed, so I'll see you all in the morning. Happy Halloween! So it is October 31st. It is now 10.20 at night. So today I slept a lot, ate some candy, I had some caramels and some Reese's, and I played Phasmophobia with my sister, and then she read me the Halloween chapter from the first Harry Potter book. So Troll in the Dungeon happened. It was great. And yeah, I am going to be starting a sprint at midnight to kick off Nano. So that's going to be great fun. And I think I'm going to wrap up my vlog here for the middle grade draft one and a half. And then it will transition into my NaNoWriMo vlogs. So NaNoWriMo will be finishing this draft one and a half brainstorming and outlining and drafting book two. So I think I want to draft three books before I query because I was looking up the Goosebumps books and those come out one a month when they came out. It's like, holy cow. So I want to have a little bit of leeway of, I already have some drafted so you can see and it's proof of concept. And if they do pick it up, then they can have a little bit more time in between so I have some more time to draft subsequent books if they want more. So that is my plan. So draft one and a half right now is 16 complete chapters and it is 15,726 words and it is not done yet and I am about to go into the heist. So fun times, fun times. and. Yeah, I will see you guys all in my next vlog for Nano. So I'll see you there. Bye!